Hello, and thank you for watching the video edition of my remarks to the McHenry County Board for its April 14th Committee of the Whole meeting. I'll start by sharing some great news with you. We learned that we once again received the Government Finance Officers Association Certificate of Achievement for our comprehensive annual financial report for the 2020 fiscal year. The award is one of three given to governments whose budget documents meet or exceed all the criteria set by the association, which advances excellence in government finance by providing best practices and professional development. Last year, our finance department won the association's triple crown for winning all three of its annual awards. So one down, two to go for our triple crown. I'd like to congratulate Chief Financial Officer Kevin Boiso, Assistant Finance Director for Accounting Karen Dietz, the Assistant Finance Director for Budgeting Carrie Wise, and Accountant Dodi Vanisi for their hard work. The County Board will be voting this month on approval requests for two more advanced McHenry County grants. New Directions Addiction Recovery Services is requesting $980,000 to build a six-unit sober living facility in the Crystal Lake area. And the Rouse Center for the Arts is asking for $280,000 to renovate its classroom space at St. Mary's Episcopal Church and to build an outdoor stage for its Arts on the Green summer program. I can't say enough how pleased I am with the success of Advanced McHenry County so far. This month's projects underscore the variety and thoughtfulness of the funding requests. One will further enrich the county culturally, while the other will help us in our ongoing fight against the scourge of drug abuse and overdose deaths. Including these two items coming up for a vote, the county board to date will have allocated less than one third of the $29.8 million we've set aside in federal COVID-19 relief funds to invest in infrastructure, workforce development, nonprofit agencies, special districts, and local governments. We're still accepting funding applications. People can learn more about Advanced McHenry County and qualifying agencies can access the application portal by visiting McHenryCountyIL.gov forward slash advance. On the evening of April 6th, I had the privilege of delivering the opening remarks at the McHenry County Conservation District's Conservation Congress. I took the opportunity to thank the Conservation District for all that it does and for its excellence in balancing its mission of protecting the environment and preserving open space for the public to enjoy with fiscal prudence and the need to protect our taxpayers. Public Health Administrator Melissa Adamson later delivered a presentation on how the environment and conservation impacts community health. McHenry County's branding campaign of Wonderful Places, Wide Open Spaces makes the MCCD an integral partner. I'd also like to thank board members Lori Parrish, Pam Altoff, Kelly Wagner, and Carolyn Campbell, and the county staff who also attended. Our meeting this coming Tuesday happens to fall during National Volunteer Appreciation Week, which is observed the third week in April, which also happens to be National Volunteer Month. We'll be voting on a proclamation honoring our volunteers from the men and women who serve on our many boards and commissions to those who back up our health officials, first responders, and other agencies. I've written our appointees to our boards and commissions thanking them for their service and invited them to attend for the proclamation. However, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell them and all volunteers everywhere, thank you for your time and your selflessness. Finally, just prior to our Committee of the Whole meeting, the Valley High Operating Committee held a special meeting to recommend approval of a concept plan to create a memory care unit at Valley High. Our consulting firm, Management Performance Associates, concluded in its market and financial analysis that there is a market demand for memory care services and projected that a 26-bed unit would achieve financial viability. A resolution approving the concept has been placed on next Tuesday's agenda. We've been talking about implementing memory care services at Valley High for several years, and we identified it as a goal on our strategic plan. And I'm looking forward to discussing this further and moving it forward. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can always visit the county meeting portal at McHenryCountyIL.gov to watch our meetings live or whenever you like.